Good morning, everybody. It is April 27th. I'm going to just check my phone. April 27th, 2020. And if you've been watching my videos uh, in order, you know that I have presented the constructive triangles. Um, I would ordinarily do the geometric cabinet next and go from there in the sequence of my geometry album, but I'm going to jump ahead quite a bit and look at quadrilaterals. Uh, this was requested by a teacher in my school that she can share with her students, and it's actually some of my favorite work. So we're going to do a couple presentations at the 6 to 9 level and also at the 9 to 12 level for quadrilaterals. So we're going to start with just identifying what quadrilaterals are. <clears throat> a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure. I've built numerous four-sided figures from the geometric stick box and I'm going to lay them out and identify them by name. We will start with this shape right here. You can see it's got four sides. You can move it if you want, but it's got four sides and each side is a different length. You can tell there's different colors here. So those colors are a nice clue to help you. So we're just going to call this a common quadrilateral. Common quadrilateral. We could also call it a trapezium. Our next shape has two sides the same length, but it's also got, according to our red and black sticks, one set of parallel sides. We're going to call this a trapezoid. Our next shape, two sets of parallel sides. We're going to call that a parallelogram. <clears throat> so we've laid out three shapes so far. Parallelogram, trapezoid, and common quadrilateral or trapezium. For this next shape, which could look like a parallelogram, but it's not going to be a parallelogram, I'm going to use my right angle finder. My right angle finder shows that these two line segments, when they come together, form a right angle that is 90 degrees. I make sure that each angle is square, is 90 degrees. They all appear to be. So we have four right angles. We're going to call this a rectangle. It's the label. Whoop. Rectangle. Our next shape, four sides the same length, it is not a diamond, it is a rhombus. Show you the label, this is a rhombus. Our final shape, well, looks like a rhombus, again, you can move it back and forth, looks like a rhombus. Four sides, same length, but I'm going to need my right angle finder that I used for the rectangle and make sure all of my angles are right angles. And they all appear to be. We are going to call this a square. So these are our quadrilaterals, quad meaning four, lateral meaning side, four sides, quadrilateral, four-sided figures. We have a square, 
a rhombus, a rectangle, a parallelogram, a trapezoid, and a common quadrilateral or a trapezium. Now, I'm going to throw one more term at you. If I bring out the quadrilaterals from the geometric cabinet, we can see that this has a right angle. I'll hold that up to the camera so you can see it. This has a right angle. So this, when we, when we change this around, just like that, and make sure we have a right angle, we can now call that shape a right angle trapezoid. You'll notice that this trapezoid does not have any right angles. It actually has four, oh, two acute angles, two obtuse angles. I'm kind of going out of order with all this talk about angles, but we'll get to that work a little bit later on. Here's our trapezoid. And let me show that to the camera a little bit. There's our trapezoid. Here's our parallelogram. Here's our rectangle. Here's our rhombus. And here's our square. And there you go, the quadrilaterals. The next presentation is going to be the 9 to 12 presentation where we're going to classify and categorize and tell the differences between the two, what they have in common, and what they have different. And that will be a separate video for this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.